what does it take to be a good footballer? Talent, mm -hmm. dedication, obedience, the ability to listen, right? And put out what you've been told. The ability to learn and progress. Mm -hmm. The willingness to be humble, yeah? Yeah. Not to be egotistical, mm -hmm. okay? And to persistently be consistent in your objective, which is to produce a great performance every time. The day before has no rel um, relevance to the, the day after. Mm -hmm. That's forgotten. Great players, champions, always focus on achieving what's ahead of them and producing great um, uh, performances. Okay. So, when you're picking these players, what, what's through your eyes, Zach? What do, you, what, what do you see through your eyes? So what's if you've got to talk us through it, and you look at a player running up and down the field, what, what separates a good player? What special. Special. So special. Okay, I stand corrected. Special. Special. Why? Because why? Anything that is common, anything that is standard, mm -hmm. anything that doesn't excite, anything that is not different, doesn't stand So you right. say special? Yes. Okay. So let me ask you a question plain. I don't like the word devil's advocate, but... Yes. The national side. Yeah. History tells us that special players don't get treated special. Matt Letizia was very, very special. The things he could do with that ball was unbelievable. He didn't play much for England. Okay, two things. Being special and having the personality and the charisma to carry it off is a separate issue. Matt Letizia was a great player. Make no mistake about that. But, and I'm not saying his personality took away from where he was supposed to be, but in the general football fraternity, regardless of your talent, you have to have a persona, yeah? that character, that bold and brush energy to be outspoken with regards to not stepping on anyone's foot. With regards to Matt Letitia, I believe personality, okay, and application, not his talent, right, with regards to PR, was one of the main reasons, in my opinion. Don't quote me as a fact, but that's my, my, my humble opinion. Great player, but greatness also encourages you to what? To evolve. When you evolve sometimes, you need to what? You need to what? You tell me. You need to what? You need to be consistent. Okay. Sometimes Matt Letizia's con consistency was poor. But Matt Letizia saved Southampton season after season after season. How much more consistency does one want? Zach? Remember, you're talking about international fixtures com in, in, as compared to what? League, 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 league performance. Okay. Okay. You are picked by merits on how your performance is in the league. Okay. But when you are tested international wise, if you consistently mm -hmm. are not, it's not, uh, and you're not consistent consistently, yeah. then that doesn't make you a great player. That doesn't make you an international player. That doesn't warrant you to be picked in the next So time. you're telling me there are other players that have been picked in our national side that are in the side based on merit, not on name. There were certain players that were picked in the England sides previously that have been there based, you know they're based on their name, it wasn't based on what they were doing for their club. Okay, I'll answer that question. It's a very, very, very juicy, tasty question. I'll break it down like this. Okay, okay. Now, a seasoned pro, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A seasoned pro mm -hmm. with the ability, okay, mm -hmm. right, to conjure something out of nothing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Randomly, mm -hmm. it's one of the categories under which sometimes they pick players like maybe Rooney, mm -hmm. whereas he may be, you know, nowhere in the game, within five minutes, bang, he's done something special. That's the reason why sometimes they pick some of those players. Okay, but why would you pick players and put them out of the, out of the position they would play for their club? Because they're consistently playing well for their club, but when they play for their country, they're playing like Rooney on the left wing. Hold on, Rooney's place in the middle or up front. Okay. So how can you have, how can you say consistency from a player okay. playing club football and then you put them international level and you put them out on the wing when they're a striker or they're midfielder in the centre of midfield and then they say, well, not consistent at international level and they're uncomfortable doing something that they don't normally do. That's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? The way it? I'll put it, the way I'll answer that question. Okay. First one I'll say is this. Yeah. Okay? International football, yes. with regards to tactically, is yes. totally different to um, league football. Okay. What you are required to do as a job for your national team, right, is mm -hmm. different from what you're required to do for your local team. Okay. Okay. One of the other things is this. Remember, mm -hmm. depending on what the, the team you're facing, you can be requested and called on to perform at a different position. 
yes. which is for the team. You have to take one for the team. You have to play a role. It's not all about yourself, it's a team game. So sometimes you'll be asked to perform in a different position. And as a footballer who's been trained from a young age, right? Yes. Positions are just names, okay? It's just a playing field, it's a pitch. You should be able to function mentally and physically no matter where you are on that pitch. Your foot's supposed to work, you're supposed to make you know, intelligent passes, you're supposed to be able to tackle, you're supposed to be able to read the game no matter where you are on the pitch. So putting positions aside, football is football no matter where you're standing. The only specialist position is the goalkeeper. And since they're not goalkeepers and they're out on the pitch, on the field, you're able to function mentally and physically. That's the way I put it.